An average household has one remote for its television, one remote for its uh, setup box, one remote for its soundbar or sound system, and one remote for a miscellaneous item, say for example uh, your AC. But what if I told you it could replace all these four remotes with one device, and that device is nothing but your cell phone? And better yet, control all these devices with your sound. My name is Saish Gavas and welcome to the 8-Bit Cohen. And today's video, we're going to do a quick review on the Broadlink Mini, uh, which is a universal remote controller. actually does is learns all the commands on your physical remote and then using your phone as uh, an input transmits all these commands onto your appliances now uh, two things to keep in mind is that it only works on uh, IR remote and uh, that means only on our infrared remotes uh, how do I know if my remote is an IR basically uh, take your remote keep your hand in front of it and uh, try punching a button now if the signal does not go through that means it's an IR if the signal does go through however it probably is a Bluetooth or it's an RF remote and uh, this will not sync or it will not be able to learn the commands on uh, an um, RF or a Bluetooth remote controller keep that in mind second thing here is that this will only work uh, or connect to a 2.4 gigahertz now this is not a big deal and even the IR remote is not a big deal because uh, from my perspective approximately 85 to 90 percent of the remotes we use on a daily basis are going to be IR remotes and also if uh, you do not know the difference between a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz and you have not uh, yet explored that I have made a, a, a video uh, in the past and I will link in the description please check that out to make use of your 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz now coming back to this so the device itself is uh, it's, it's having a pretty small uh, form factor it's, it doesn't occupy much space on your desk or your uh, tabletop uh, on the front it has just one LED uh, blue LED which uh, blinks and uh, uh, lights up every time it's passing any kind of signal or syncing up with your Wi-Fi uh, at the back it has a power button a power input source uh, which is going to be powering this device it does not have a battery that means it has to be connected throughout and, and a reset button in case you miss the configuration and you want to just reset this uh, device to its initial state you can go ahead and do that so um, enough of talks let's go ahead and actually set this device up so so to set this device basically you need to download an app called IHC it's available on your Google Store and your uh, Apple App Store as well and once you download the app you basically need to create an IHC account to create an IHC account you need a legitimate or a valid email address just punch in your email address uh, um, and a verification code is sent to you uh, punch in your verification code set up a password which you will require in the future in the future of the video and uh, 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 enter a particular your location um, once you go ahead and do that uh, it will just create an IHC account for you once you create an IHC account the next thing you want to do is actually add the physical apply the device itself onto your account to do that you basically go ahead and uh, hit add devices and you will be given a few options here and you select universal remote once you select universal remote you need to select which RM a Broadlink Mini device you have, whether it's RM Plus, Pro, or just RM Mini. I have RM Mini, so I select RM Mini, and immediately it's going to give you an option. It's going to tell you that it's connecting to your particular network, and you enter the password, and um, it will take some time, and it will get connected, or, or rather linked, with your IHC account. Once it is connected, or it's linked to your IHC account, you you immediately will be given an option of various appliances which you can uh, uh, start teaching your IHC device or uh, your Broadlink Mini to learn the commands from like your television, your uh, setup box, your smart box, your Android box, uh, your soundbar, your amplifier, you know, there are multiple uh, various options. 
Uh, so uh, for uh, demonstration purpose, I'll go ahead and select uh, television. And the moment I select television, uh, the next thing it's going to ask me is it's going to give me an option to select from the various uh, uh, brands of television. In case you cannot find which brand uh, or your brand of television, you can also select I cannot find my brand, and you'll go ahead and be you'll be uh, allowed to configure all your buttons separately but if you find your uh, your particular uh, brand of television or appliance uh, it is actually going to give you a set of uh, a preset of IR codes now what this uh, preset basically is is it's a bunch of codes uh, which is predefined and it probably will work for you uh, some buttons might work some buttons might not work but so you need to check if it's working for you uh, and this is something which is done on behalf of IFC to cut down your work and now for me It did not work on my soundbar my television, but it did work on the setup box So it's totally up to your uh, television brand or your your appliance brand So uh, if it does work good for you, if not then do not worry you'll be again prompted with the actual layout of uh, the physical or rather the soft remote and now what you need to do is actually teach your uh, IFC uh, or the Broadlink Mini, uh, your commands of your physical remote. So to teach uh, these buttons, what you need to do is press the, the button on your phone, which you want to teach uh, the device, the command, and take your physical remote and point, uh, point it towards your IFC, uh, sorry, the Broadlink Mini device, and click on the physical button. And it will learn this device, and then you can go ahead and click that onto your phone as well. And that's it, you, a, the device has learned that particular command. So if I want to switch off the television, or I want to teach uh, my device to switch off the television, I need to take my uh, physical uh, remote and point it towards uh, the RM Mini and press that button and it will learn that and I press that button again and it has gone ahead and learned uh, this particular button. So just like that, you can go ahead and teach your RM Mini um, various commands for your various devices like your television setup box. I was able to set it up for my television, my setup box, my Android box and my soundbar. And once you go ahead and set up various device, this is how it looks. And uh, if you click on a particular device, it gives you like a quick access for the uh, frequently used buttons like your power, mute, uh, you know, change the uh, volume up and down. And if you want the, uh, the complete layout, you actually click on uh, this button and it goes ahead and gives you the complete layout where you can uh, explore additional features. So this is how you set up the, uh, uh, the, uh, the various appliances and the remotes and you teach the, uh, the commands. Uh, the next thing here to do is make sure that you use the um, scenes feature. Now, what scenes basically is, is uh, it's like a, a, com a set of commands which are supposed to be followed in a particular sequence to get the desired result. For example, if I want to switch from my HDMI 1 to HDMI 2 on my television, uh, I would need to go ahead and press the source button once, and then I hit the down button and it goes from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2 and then I select OK. So there are three presses, you source, down and OK. So there are three clicks. So I can actually use the scene function um, and I, to do that, I just go ahead and add scene. So you go ahead into scenes and now you can see we are in HDMI 1. I want to switch to HDMI 2. So all I need to do is create a scene by pressing the plus button. I'll name this as HDMI and uh, names HDMI 2. I'll save that. Okay, now it's asking me to add a device. So currently I'm just going ahead and adding my television remote, so TV, and I would need to press the source button so that the source uh, 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 menu comes up. Once the source menu comes up, it's actually going to go down. So I'm going to press television and the down button. Okay, and then I actually want to go ahead and press OK. So it exits from the uh, the source menu. So technically speaking, when I hit HDMI 2, it's supposed to press three keys, which are a TV source, down and OK. And that's exactly the sequence in which uh, I switch from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2. So if I press HDMI 2, there we have it. We have gone ahead and actually created kind of a uh, quick access or quick macro kind of button on our 
uh, IFC app. Likewise, I can create multiple uh, sequences. And the best part about this is actually you can go ahead and add multiple devices. Now, say for example, I this is working just fine. But when I switch from HDMI um, uh, 1 to HDMI 2, I also want to make sure that um, the, the sound source switches from uh, optical in or whatever uh, input it is on and I just want to switch it to I wanted to switch to uh, Bluetooth so I can go ahead and do that by adding an appliance going into my setup box I'm sorry my sound bar and I go ahead and press zero so what's gonna happen in here is it's actually let me just switch to uh, GMI one and it's going to go ahead and press TV, go to TV source, go, t go down, press OK, and then it's going to say go to soundbar and press the zero button, which is actually to switch. I have configured to switch to Bluetooth. So if I press HDMI 2 now, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, it is actually switched from Bluetooth to uh, sorry from um, auxiliary uh, to Bluetooth. So likewise, I can create multiple scenes, and they could be like. Uh, switching channels, uh, reducing the uh, uh, rem uh, the volume by maybe 10% or 10 levels. Uh, you know, you can the, the possibilities are endless. And then also, if in case you come across a situation wherein you feel that the the press between one and two button is too fast and the uh, the device is not able to register this. For example, I, when I tried using this uh, particular method in changing channels, I realized that my setup box would not uh, accept, like if I want to change from five, uh, I'm pressing 504, it would just take five and four. It would take time to process between five to uh, zero. So you can actually uh, give a, a time interval between the press five and zero of like you know 0.5 seconds or you know one second so that the uh, the appliances in case it's taking the input a little slowly it can accommodate that request and it will work just fine so uh, for me that was one feature which was completely uh, user friendly and uh, exceptional so now that we have gone ahead and actually set up our scenes the next thing to do is actually set our uh, uh, broadening mini on our Google Home or Alexa. Now, I did not try this on Alexa since I don't have Alexa, but it worked uh, flawlessly on the Google Home and I'll show you how to do that. But the, the, the steps follow to be followed on Alexa is pretty simple and I will link to that as well. So I'll go into my Google Home first. And as you can see, um, I have actually done this, but here, as you can see, uh, this is my Google Home. I'll go into my account, my settings, assistant and home control so i'm actually going to link my uh, ifc account which i had created at uh, the start of this video and let's search ifc here and as you can see it has picked up the ifc um, universal remote services and i'll be prompted to actually add my address uh, the one which i've created so i'll go ahead and quickly get that done Okay, so it's going to sign in to my account, which I've created, and uh, you can see, yeah, there we go. So as you can see, there are uh, devices like my television and my setup box, and there are devices and there are scenes which I had created: HDMI one, HDMI two, setup box, uh, wow music, etc. So uh, let me go ahead and assign uh, them my family room so all the devices and the commands Google knows that it's going to be for my family room okay so I'll go ahead and get that done okay so I can okay so let's go ahead and try to Yeah, there you go. So uh, after some time, you would see that uh, the television and the setup box pop up uh, in my family room. So let me just try uh, a command here. Hey Google, switch off TV. You got it. Turning off the TV. 
hey google switch on tv Okay, so as you can see, it has recognized my voice and is actually going ahead and switching on the TV, uh, uh, you know, with my voice command. Now let us try and execute uh, some of our scenes which we created. So, uh, hey Google, activate HDMI two. Sure, activating HDMI two. And as you can see, it has actually gone ahead and switched to HDMI 2 where my Android box has been uh, configured. Uh, activate uh, 9XO. Okay, activating the 9XO. Okay, as you can see, uh, we are able to give commands to change the um, channels and switch from sources. So basically, we can give commands, we can give the names to all these scenes and uh, tell Google to execute or activate this and it should be done. Uh, so this was the setup and usability of the Broadlink Mini. Um, now let's go ahead with the pros and cons. Cons first, the only con which I found is that this device only works on IR remotes and does not work on RF or Bluetooth remotes. Uh, my only problem here is that in the uh, going uh, in 2019 onwards, many televisions are actually coming with uh, Bluetooth remotes, which are using the uh, the voice feature, which even though is not that user friendly, uh, it is Bluetooth. So if I want to use uh, this, uh, if I buy a new television and it is a Bluetooth, uh, having a Bluetooth remote, it, this device would not work uh, or would not be compatible with that particular remote. So that is a downfall here. Uh, apart from that, I really could not think of anything, uh, any kind of con. The pros here is that this device is not really expensive, uh, easy to set up, uh, and it is uh, <clears throat> really practical. Uh, uh, I, I haven't used a lot of devices with Google Home, uh, but this was a breeze to set up, and the way it, it was able to recognize all the commands flawlessly, uh, I, I was pretty impressed. Uh, there are, this is not the first device of its type, there are multiple devices, I would link in the description. Uh, but for the price point, it does the job uh, pretty flawlessly. There are other, other expensive options, again, but they do not work with um, any other devices but IR remote, so bear that in mind. Uh, in conclusion, I would say that if you have a Google Home or you have an Alexa or even you have multiple remotes and you want a solution which can replace all these remotes with one device itself, this is a good uh, approach or good device to go since it is uh, compatible with all these devices and it also is user friendly. So uh, that was the entire video guys for the Broadlink RM Mini. Um, if you guys like this video, uh, like this video. If you guys love the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope, I hope you guys have a great day ahead. Thank you so much.